Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you a very nice package which allows you to put all the figures and tables at the end of the manuscript. Why this is needed? Well, unfortunately there are some journals that ask you to put all your figures and your tables at the end of the manuscript and in addition they want you to have one line of text where the figure should be. If you do that manually, that will take a lot of time and then is a tedious task. Luckily, we have a package called nplot that helps us with that. Here on my right side, I have the paper compiled in PDF. And on the left side, I have my LaTeX source code. At the moment, the figure is embedded inside the text as well as the tables, as you can see here. So we have two tables and we have two figures. We want to change that and we want that the figure and the table, both of them, they go at the end of the paper. How can we do that? Well, we just have to use one line of code and this line of code is use package and then curly braces and float. And then we just have to recompile the document. I'm currently using VS Code, which automatically compiles the document for me. If you want to find out more on how to compile later code inside VS Code, check out my other video on this topic. I've already explained how to install this extension both on Windows and on Mac. So see, now we have our paper, the same text, but instead of the figures, we have this nice text here where the figure should be, also for tables. Let's say that we don't want to have these markers. I don't know why you wouldn't want to, because most journals ask you, not, uh, ask you to put these markers, but in case you don't want to have these markers, you can add an option to the end float package. So let me uncomment the second line here and I can say no markers and the markers will go away. So we'll have just the figures at the end here. So we have a list of figures and then we have the two figures and then we have a list of tables and the two tables at the end. But we no longer have markers. One thing that you may not be interested in having this list of figures. Therefore, we have also an option to disable them. So we have to say on top of no markers, we have to say no list as well. Actually, let me remove the no marker option because I think the marker are necessary, but the list are not really necessary. So I'm recompiling the document and you will see that the lists are now gone. So we have our references and then we have our figures followed by our tables. We can also say that we want to present the table first. So here at the moment we have figures followed by tables, but we can invert that. So let me uncomment this line here and we can say table first as another option. Now, as you can see, we have the references followed by the tables and the figures. Finally, the last option that I would like to show you is how to add adds, because at the moment you can see here that this table start with no adding or anything it will be nice to have uh, like a section name that says tables and figures. We just have to add another option here to the package. And then here you can see that I've added the heads. So now we have this nice heading here. So we have a section called tables and then we have the two tables and then we have figures and then we have the two figures. I really hope you find this video interesting. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And so you will be notified when I release new videos like this one. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.